as prevalent in the terms of the decisions or the ruling he has made. We think it's very wrong, it's fundamentally wrong. Yes, there are these provisions that he is alluded to, but as far as we are concerned, the import of those provisions, are the, the import is not what he has articulated today. Uh, these individuals have said that going into the next election, going to the next election, not this parliament, going into the election 20th uh, in December and going to next parliament, 2025 parliament, they propose to be independent candidates. We think that it has absolutely nothing to do with the uh, standing now as members of the current parliament. We think it is wrong. We uh, filed documents in the Supreme Court for interpretation. The speaker himself has said that these are matters uh, which call for um, uh, for interpretation. Somehow he's taking the matters out himself and uh, um, um, he's rude uh, that uh, uh, those people have vacated uh, um, uh, their position thereby declaring um, um, declaring us in the minority, straight away in the minority. So I suspect he's going to um, ask them to move over and then they take up government. This is horrendous, it's atrocious. I haven't seen anything like this in my life. But then talking about my life, this particular parliament has been something extraordinary. I mean, the, he, he based this on precedent. He no, says, no, no. He says, one. Well, well, he says yeah, it's not binding on no, him. Well, yeah, but but he doesn't say that. I'm, yeah, sure. That's it. That's of course, he would say he could say that in law. Technically, he is right, and there is something he calls a precedent, which though is not binding on him. But of course, he says that um, he could adopt it. That is fine. But we are saying now that that okay thing, I don't even recall it. That okay thing was unlawful. I mean, but, was, but you didn't uh, say it at the time. No, but that's what I'm saying. I'm mean, so thinking about it. You see, what he, you didn't say it at the time. We are saying it now. What's wrong with that? Yeah, but that's the point. Is that huh? some will say it is hypocritical. No, no, no. When law doesn't talk about no, no, no. Law doesn't, about no, no, law doesn't talk about hypocrisy. Law talk about the legal position. But that is why the law is always retrospective. You know, so principle. 20 years ago, what is the principle? The principle what is that when it benefited yeah, you, you didn't speak out. Uh -huh. And this time that is going against uh -huh. you, you are how did, they, how, did they, how did they benefit? The last time we had 169 or so members of parliament, how did that benefit? Yeah, but you wanted to fight the call. Anyway, the point is that seriously, constitutionally, legally, the speaker is completely out of power, completely wrong on this principle. He should have waited. He should have allowed it. That's, look, there is thing about uh, the coordinated jurisdictions of the various acts of government, the parliament, and then the the, the the Supreme Court, and of course the executive. But when it comes to matters of this nature, I would have thought that easily he would defer any other parliament, any other speaker would defer to the the, the segment of the government which constitutionally is uh, mandated to do this matter to interpret. It's clear matter of interpretation. In fact, Colendi, Colendi, Mr. Gaza. Colin, you recall in one of those cases uh, before you, you heard what he said. We keep on talking about rules, our rules, our rules. Our rules have got their masters, and their masters are in the Supreme Court. The, uh, the speaker should have allowed the Supreme Court to sit on this matter. I think this matter, because it's so constitutionally important, um, would deal with this matter in the shortest of time. How long would they have taken uh, Alben to hold our, our hands and get the. Uh, the, 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 the well, look at the commotion, look at the dislocation. Look at the commotion. Look at the discord he's now into this. We are going to do government business. The whole country is going to be constitutional, legally. The speaker is completely out of power, completely wrong on this principle. He should have waited. He should have allowed it. That's, look, there is thing about uh, the coordinated jurisdictions of the various acts of government, the parliament, and then the, uh, the, the, the Supreme Court, and of course the executive. But when it comes to matters of this nature, I would have thought that easily he would defer any other parliament, any other speaker would be fair to the, the the segment of the government which constitutionally is uh, mandated to do this matter, to interpret. It's clear matter of interpretation. In fact, Colendi, Colendi, Mr. Gaza, Colendi, you recall in one of those cases uh, before you, you heard what he said, we keep on talking about rules, our rules, our rules. Our rules have got their masters, and their masters are in the Supreme Court. The, uh, the speaker should have allowed the Supreme Court to sit on this matter. I think this matter, because it's so constitutionally important, um, would deal with this matter in the shortest of time. How long would they have taken uh, uh, Alben to hold our, our hands and get the... Uh, the, 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 the well, one will, one will reference the antenna. Look at the commotion, look at the dislocation, look at the commotion, look at the discord he's now introduced. We are going to do government business, the whole country is going to come to a standstill because we are not going to sit there as a minority and do anything. They cannot do the work of government. Look at look at the chaos that your speaker is introducing. Yeah, but they're, they're, now they're, they're from the day one, you have to from day one. Them. From day one, the man has been introducing nothing but this court in this parliament. And look at how he's climaxing with. Yes. Yeah, I was asking that. So, 
This is a moment ago. Why is it that uh, we took advantage of that while now we are, we are crying? What is it that he means by that? The last time we had about 160 over members. We didn't need a ruling like this. I don't think anybody attached much significance to that particular ruling, which was, in our view, absolutely wrong. I mean, we didn't attach significance. He's been defending it. From this, this, has been defending this, it. This, this now, it's a very critical matter. And the, we got, we told him, we gone to the Supreme Court. You know, so hold your hands. Let the Supreme Court handle this matter. And then we take it from there. So you are not seeding your side. You the oh, well, no, we left the room for him. You see, we all left the room. He can have it. He can answer his, his friends uh, to go and sit outside and do government business. We aren't getting in there until the Supreme Court uh, does his job. Uh, we, we have no doubt that uh, it wouldn't take them a long time at all. They would handle this matter and they would handle it legally, constitutionally, and properly. And then we'll come back to take back our right to place. Finally, you know recipe for chaos? Uh, but, he is, well, if it, but his parliament has been so chaotic from day one when Babin sat on it. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, 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 no. Supreme Court will handle this matter. Uh, it has matters already before the Supreme Court. It seems they're going to already. abandon government business. What do you mean? What is that? They said we are in the minority now. Yes. They are government. They, those guys, according to Speaker Babe, those guys are now in government. They are so majority, they are not in government. They are majority friend, party. Uh, is there any other question? Okay. Well, yeah. Because you, we won't sit on that side of take my word. We are not sitting there whilst uh, he has declared them the majority. So, yeah, not sitting there there. Yeah, so the Supreme Court has made a ruling, which will be with the next whatever. I mean, it is so important the Supreme Court would, has no choice but quickly to resolve this matter. It's a top constitutional matter. They would uh, they will spend some time and uh, deal with it. But so I think it's a short time. Yes, you are legal. Yes, I am. What's, legal the legal point? Legal. What's the point? What's the point? We have just three weeks. Yes. Where is this headed? Well, no, you ask the speaker. You ask the speaker. In fact, there's another part of another part of the constitution which says that uh, uh, I think within three months or so, when there's vacancy in the house, nothing happens. So everything, indeed, even if you hear what he's talking about, is right. Our friends have vacated their position. He should have allowed this to to lie in limbo. He, Take this grand standard, uh, aided by Ato, Ato, uh, Ato, what's his name? Ato Forsen and uh, the, all those uh, <laughs> the other members of his party. They, 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 they come together and they come out with something as outrageous as this. Uh,